So, um, I was helping a student out earlier today, and I figured out, you know what, maybe I'll just kind of do this exactly um, for you guys as well. So, you guys, when you're talking about fractions, we need to understand fraction operations, all right? And when you guys were first learning fractions, we had something like this. One third divided by, like, I don't know, one fourth. And we say, how do we divide fractions? Well, rather than dividing fractions, we replace that by saying one third divided by one fourth is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, right? And when you multiply, you always multiply straight across. Do not do cross multiplication. I'll talk. So that's exactly how you do that problem. Now, another way to look at that division is we can use fraction bars, right? Do you guys agree with me that's the same thing? One third divided by one fourth is the same thing as one third over one fourth? Same thing. Well, how does multiplying by the reciprocal look? Well, again, when you're looking at it as a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. The reason being is because what happens when you multiply my denominator by its reciprocal? It goes to 1, right? Here, you multiply across. You have 4 thirds divided by 1. What's anything divided by 1? Just that anything, right? So there's two different ways to look at it, OK? So when you have something like this, you just multiply by its reciprocal on the top and the bottom. But when you, multi when you multiply by the reciprocal on the bottom, it goes to 1. So in reality, you're just multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal. So let's go and look at this problem. Because this problem, again, we know our ax squared plus bx plus c. Our b is negative 1 fourth. To find the value b that completes the square, we've got to do b divided by 2 squared. So I have negative 1 fourth divided by 2. Well, how the heck do you take a fraction and divide it by a whole number? Well, you rewrite your whole number as a fraction, and then multiply. You see, you have a fraction divided by another fraction, right? So just multiply by the reciprocal. 1 half times 1 half. Any number multiplied by its reciprocal is 1. This equals negative 1 over 8. So the value c that completes the square is negative 1 over 8. Oh, I didn't square it yet, too, right? Sorry, forgot about that. Then I have to square, obviously, that number. So it's going to be a positive 1 over 64. OK? Yes. So I have x squared minus 1 fourth x plus 1 over 64. Now, as far as factoring goes, this could be probably pretty difficult to factor, right? What two numbers multiply to give you 1 64 and then add to give you negative 1 4 That might not come to your guys' head, especially with your um, trouble with fractions. So a lot of times, if you're having trouble factoring it, but you know you created a perfect square trinomial, again, all I mention is the factored form is always x divided by x plus b divided by 2 squared. So what was my b divided by 2? <coughs> negative 1 8. So guess what? The factor form is x minus 1 8 squared. And, and actually, you can check that out. Is negative 1 8 times negative 1 8 positive 1 64? Yeah. Is negative 1 8 plus negative 1 8 one, negative 1 4? Yeah. Negative 1 8 plus negative 1 8 is negative 2 8, right? 2 8 reduces to 1 4. So it works. OK? So yes, you can factor all of those. But also remember that x plus b divided by 2 squared. 